Did you know the Scout is called Jeremy? Quite funny. Anyway, moving on. Scout is the only class left in this series and there's a reason I've not attempted him yet and that is because he's hard. I find him to be the most difficult class to imagine new weapons for and I think this is because he has a fairly traditional FPS playstyle. You run around and you click on people. He does of course have some variety in his secondaries with his drinky stuff, splashy stuff and his throwy stuff but I think his primaries especially lack some diversity. Generally speaking they are all very shotgun-esque. You get close and then you click on people. And this is somewhat surprising seeing as he has one of the largest collections of weapons available to any class in the game, right after Soldier and Pyro. So in this video I've challenged myself to create a unique concept for each of his weapon slots, avoiding the type of ideas that are just slight tweaks to existing weapons where possible. Throughout this, as always, I'm going to be using some awesome models from the Steam Workshop, of which there are loads to choose from because there's just so much talent out there, so much great work and I recommend you all go and have a browse if you haven't already and make sure you continue to upvote stuff that you like. I'll try and give credit throughout this to the talented individuals responsible for these beautiful creations. Concept 1. The Burster. A burst fire SMG primary weapon for the Scout. This would allow the Scout to be slightly more effective at medium to long range, but would ironically have less burst damage at close range. A fully automatic weapon could work too, with a small clip size perhaps, but I liked the idea of short bursts so it's less of a departure from your typical Scout gameplay. You would have to do a little bit of tracking with each shot, but only for a second or so at a time, and the overall kind of rhythm of the Scout's gameplay would feel very familiar. That's the idea anyway. I've always liked the idea of some kind of automatic weapon for the scout as his primary because it would just be a very different option for him and believe it or not the sniper's SMG was originally intended for scout so maybe this direction has some potential or maybe there's a very good reason they took that away from him. But yeah I wouldn't want it to be a fully automatic and you're just constantly firing. I feel like that would get a little bit monotonous and that's another reason why I like the idea of this kind of burst fire on some kind of semi-machine machine gun. As always, I like to leave the specific stats down to you guys as you always do a much better job than I could, so please suggest stats as we go through these and also if you have any better name ideas that would be good too, as for some reason mine are a little bit lame this time round. Normally I go for a nice pun but couldn't think of a good one this time. Concept 2. The Nailer. A projectile based secondary for the scout with a fast fire rate, large clip size but very low damage per hit. This would essentially be very similar to the needle gun for Medic, but I like the idea of this because it would be a nice little nod both to the original nail gun used in Team Fortress Classic as well as to the nail gun used by the scout in the beta version of TF2. I imagine it would be decent for hunting down spies and maybe taking out sentries from a distance, but it would be very difficult to land all of your shots due to the awkwardly slow travel time of your projectiles and it could be a little bit of a gimmick but I think it's a nice idea for a secondary just because it's very different to anything he has at the moment and it could have a fairly high skill ceiling too as you're trying to lead in those shots to finish someone off. Concept 3 Puckhead Launch a puck at your enemy to mark them for death. The scout is a pick class and I loved the idea of embracing that side of his gameplay and allowing him to try and snipe an opponent from a distance before going in for the kill. Perhaps the range at which you hit your shot has an effect on the length of time the mark for death is applied to really encourage those longer range skill shots. And this weapon is of course very similar to the Sandman but I've always found these types of weapons for the scout really fun to use so I like the idea of exploring other options. I've noticed they generally have a pretty harsh and persistent assisting downside though and I guess that's because you're essentially getting another weapon on top of the three you already have which makes me wonder wouldn't it be a better option to instead of giving these harsh penalties just have it replace the secondary slot entirely instead because the huge health penalty you get for using the Sandman is kind of bonkers and the same can be said for the vulnerability you get when using the Rap Assassin but anyway I thought in this case let's stick to what we know maybe the downside could be that you have a reduced movement speed perhaps which is something I'd personally be much more willing to give up than a bunch of health. There are some other models out there that follow the kind of Sandman type concept. I also found a rolling pin that I absolutely adored too. You can imagine all the different kinds of foods you could be whacking at the enemy with this thing. And I also found a model of a tomato, which led me to think, okay, maybe you have a sausage and a tomato, bear with. And so you whack the tomato at someone and then you can just hit people with your sausage, which would just be amazing, right? And then it blew my mind to find out that someone had already thought of this exact same idea. It's insane. But let's be honest, we probably need a sausage in the game. 
Bonus concept, the quick steps. This weapon grants a small permanent movement speed buff as well as a new ability that is a speed boost on right click, which would have a fairly long cooldown. The downsides are that you cannot jump at all and that you do not have a secondary weapon. This is probably OP already, right? Especially on certain maps, perhaps where you don't really need to jump. Maybe we only need one of these two upsides. I don't know, but basically I was racking my brains trying to think of an interesting secondary that could apply a nice juicy passive to the scout because I've seen so many players and I used to be one of them who neglect using their pistol entirely and so this weapon could be for them. It means they can forget about switching weapons and just focus on getting those frags, getting those meat shots and occasionally right clicking and getting a bit of a speed boost as well. I also thought the idea of removing the scout's jump entirely could be an interesting downside although it's probably a bit insane and so these ideas combined created this monstrosity that I think would probably break the game. So I apologise. If you could just fix it for me guys in the comments, I appreciate that. So this is a model I found called the Courier's Caffeine. I absolutely love this, it's so fitting for the Scout, seeing as his motto is too much caffeine, according to the wiki anyway, and I think there are two potential options for this, either you throw it and the target is maybe vulnerable to fire or it has a girati like effect, or you drink it, which I think I like better, and you potentially go hyper for eight seconds or something, moving quickly, but maybe you have more weapon spread, meaning you have to get real close, but you're kind of zizzing around all over the place, like you're hyper on caffeine, I think it would be awesome. This next one was an unusual effect I found called Soapy, and the moment I saw it, it made me wonder, maybe the game needs a melee weapon where on hit, it makes the enemy all slippy slidey. It would be amazing. You could call it the wet fish or something. You give someone a whack, three or four seconds, they're slipping all over the place. It would be awesome. Think of the memes. I also liked the idea of a primary weapon for Scout, which were the dual wield pistols. This model I found is called the Twins. This is of course inspired by Tomb Raider. You can imagine it having a slightly higher fire rate than the shotgun, but obviously there's no spread and slightly less damage, and maybe there's a headshot bonus. Who knows? The only downside is that you're getting dangerously close to Tracer at this point, so it might be best to avoid this. This weapon is called the Thunderbus, a very well developed concept where you start by not being able to capture any control points at all and then with each kill you cap one times faster. I think it's quite a neat and fun idea, I don't know if it breaks the game when you get to like a 10 kill streak, but could be fun and I really like the weapon model too. I also watched a video by After Breakfast where he discussed a concept that I absolutely loved, the idea of the scout holding one of these things. So this is the gun that shoots baseballs so you can practice in those little cage things. I have no idea how this would work, but I absolutely love the idea of Scout holding one of these things. It would be awesome. And one more cheeky little idea I had myself, a Widowmaker-esque weapon for Scout that starts with much less damage output and then grants additional damage with every consecutive hit, rewarding high skill players who can hit every single shot. I think that could work. It's a bit boring and that's why I didn't put it in my top three, but I think it could work. Oh, and of course, I think we probably need a boxing glove gun. There is just so much out there in the workshop and we just couldn't cover it all in one video but to finish off I just wanted to share some last bits and pieces that caught my eye and I just had to give a mention. So first of all the Wactus, a Boston Basher reskin, done, it's ready to go. Triple Charm, this looks really slick, I love it. The Condiment Cannon, we can play Splatoon in TF2, it'd be amazing. The Roaring Ramsey, this is just perfect, don't know what it does, but it's perfect. The Coffin Dodger, my imagination goes wild as to what this one could do. And the Farcical Fingers, honestly this could be my favourite thing that I found, I love it. I just want to whack people with a big foamy hand, is that too much to ask? I also found a flipping laser pan and a bat saber that's already in the game apparently which is a skin for the bat that I didn't even know existed but correct me if I'm wrong but I've never seen this before and this is in no way relevant to the scout but it's so ridiculously amazing it needs to be mentioned it's a little pet tank for the soldier it's amazing just this concept of having a little pet following you around it could apply to lots of things maybe the bumper car follows the scout around I don't know it's beautiful oh and of course we blatantly need a crowbar in the game as well but that goes without saying especially with Half-Life Alex just being released. Anyway, that's a lot of stuff. Let me know your thoughts on these weapons in the comments below. Fortunately, now that Half-Life Alex has been released, the entirety of the Valve team will be rushing to make some TF2 updates. We'll probably get monthly updates from this point forward, I would imagine. I'm joking, of course, but at the same time, fingers crossed, there could be some truth to this. You never know. Maybe the heavy update will one day become a reality. Anyway, I hope you're all faring well in these crazy, mad times that we're currently living in. Take care of yourself. If you need some company, pop by one of my streams and say hello, and I'll see you guys in the next video.